What's up, survivors? I'm Natural Born, and welcome back to episode 67 of our random gen let's play. Now, I was going to say that we have a wandering horde to deal with, since they popped up at the end of the last episode, but it seems because we've quit out of the game, they've actually despawned. So that is something to bear in mind, I guess. Now, I just want to take the time to say thank you to everybody for all of the support on the last video. You guys were extremely supportive and extremely welcoming, so it's great to finally be back. And each and every one of you in this community, you're all a bunch of bloody legends. Now, for today's episode, as you may have noticed by the title, it is things to expect in the future. And that one is sort of a double entendre. Because one thing that we're going to cover in this episode are future plans for the channel regarding content. But not also that because one of the things that we have consistently done throughout this Let's Play is I've tried to drop a bit of knowledge on the game. And as we are now at episode 67, I feel like I've almost taught all of the tips and tricks that I have to give. But with the release of Alpha 22, there is one thing that we can cover. And that is some of the differences that you need to look out for between this version, the console version, Alpha 15, and the new version to release, Alpha 22. Because although they are the same game, that is literally the only similarity that they have, and that is the name of the game. So a great example of this would be right here, we have Gore Block. Now, gore blocks no longer exist. When you kill a zombie, they will not turn into a gore block. The corpse will drop, and after about 10 seconds, it will despawn. So the way that you get loot from zombies now is there is a percentage of a chance that they will drop a loot bag. All right, day 96 as well. So I believe our next Horde Night is day 98. Yes, so next Horde Night, day 98, we've got a couple of days up our sleeve. There is a few things that I would like to get done. So for starters, we're going to head inside the base without falling down there. Alright, might need to get my frames out for this one. Pick those back up. Beautiful. So as you guys can see, on this floor we have a bunch of forges. Now I'd like to get two rows, well I suppose how much have we got here? Nine. So if we can get two more down on this side that is 18 forges, I think that'll be more than enough to get started. But what I'd like to do after the Horde Night is to showcase this base as a screamer farm. We get all of those forges cranking, then I am more than positive that at least every 30 seconds we're going to have a screamer incoming. So that should be a lot of fun. Two more forges. I do think we're going to need a bit of leather for that. So now we're looking for food. Ooh, not good for food or water. We'll get downstairs, we'll have a munch, and then we're going to go hit the town for a little bit. See if we can get our hands on some leather to make up some more forges. Because I'm not 100% sure how much leather we have around the base. But speaking of things that are soon to change, glass jars is one of them. Glass jars no longer exist in Alpha 21 currently. The way to collect water is there is a new workstation called the Dew Collector. And you will have to craft one of those in your world and they generate jars of water. They can hold up to three, so you definitely want a few of them in your world. Now, you can also drink from water sources. There is for armor and stuff now, so as you can see, we have our armor. Every armor piece and weapon piece has a slot for mods, so you can modify each piece. Now, for the helmet, there is a certain mod called the Water Purifier mod. You put this in your helmet, then you're able to drink from any water source. Now, I believe all of that, we got all the locals all coming back to say what's up. Oh, 
Alright, so noisy one in there. Oh, he's going for the door. Oh well. Only one way to truly come back to this town. We've got to let them know who's boss. Good old high spawns, eh? You gotta love them. I think she just uh, spawned out of the ground. Alright, look the day. this town's population and half. Goddamn sandwiches. Right, we're undetected, but there's still more zombies around. Damn, that one was loaded on food. Now, normally I don't eat these because I like to collect them. For no reason at all, but we're going to go ahead and smash that one back. Alright, and I can tell by this structure right here, that is one of the diners. Now, I do know that you can collect leather from it inside here, so we're going to go ahead and do that quickly. And see if we can get ourselves a forge crafted up, or two forges. In the last video I brought a bunch of wood back with me so we can go ahead and load those forges up after the horde night. Uh, well we might as well go ahead and eat those because we're not quite at 250 wellness just yet. 250 is the max. Gonna read these. Bust our way inside. And we got the crappy diner. So no, these here are going to provide us with cloth, not with leather. I suppose the other thing we can keep an eye out for is animals. That is also one of the big changes that have come in the newer version is animal hide is no longer a thing. You can get leather but the icon for it is the animal hide, so you don't have to worry about turning your animal hide into leather. They're both the same item now, and it still works the same. Um, scrape that quickly. Get ourselves a wee chest down. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, this town's going to be damn near empty by the time we're finished here. Pop that down. I'm just going to drop all of this crap. I'm not even 100% sure what items we need to be using at the moment. The padlock, now that's a good quality padlock, but padlocks are only useful in multiplayer games. Their purpose... As you can imagine, you can lock your mini bike so other people can't get in there and take all your goodies, or even take off with your mini bike. Right, I'll just drop that crap in there for now. We are going to hold on to the oil because, as you guys know, as I've said a hundred times and probably a hundred more times to come, oil is the most valuable item in the game. Alright, I don't actually think we've been into this place. We're going to go ahead. Bust our way through the front door. I 
do need to get our hands on a machete as well. Oh, I didn't even didn't even register that. This place is full of leather couches. Exactly what we needed. Now, as you guys can imagine, in the last episode, that was the first time I have played this game in the last six months. So, I may be a bit rusty, guys, so you have to forgive me for that. But, it's definitely going to take more than a few zombies to stop me. Right, as far as I'm aware, yeah, so we have 65 out of 67 recipes in the game. So there is only one recipe that we're missing, and that is the herbal antibiotics recipe. The reason it says 65 out of 67 is because one of them I believe you can make in the campfire, and the other one I believe you can make in the chem station. And that slot counts for both of them. Now, I've never found the herbal antibiotics recipe in Random Gen before. This world is pretty much the only world I've ever played in Random Gen. I do know where it is in Navis game. So I'm guessing that we're going to have to explore in the snow biome a bit if we want to find that. Now, as much as you'd think being able to craft herbal antibiotics would be a good thing, it is completely unnecessary in this game because you do find so much antibiotics anyway. Alright, can we get lucky? 96, not today. And as I mentioned, like I said, you guys super supportive in my return and damn near everybody wants the Let's Play to continue and that's why we're here today. Both Let's Plays will be continuing. Be honest with you, I'm pretty happy that you guys wanted it to continue because it wouldn't have felt right leaving this world as it is. We had goals, we had ambitious goals and I think it's time that we get that shit done. So in this world in particular, we still have the snow biome to conquer, the plains biome, and the wasteland. Now for the wasteland, as you all know, the last base in this world that I want to build, I think it would be a fantastic way to end off the series too. Horde Knights on foot inside of the Colosseum. But I'd also like to make the ultimate base in the hub city. So we have the Iron Fortress, that is our first base that we built. We're still going to be end we're going to have to go back there for a few horde nights at some point. But I would love to make a base in the hub city and uh, show you guys how beneficial it can be. Because as you all know, infected police officers and ferals both spawn inside of the hub city and they drop the best loot in the game. So if you build your base correctly, you are then presented with the opportunity to farm the crap out of them. And get yourself some crazy loot and you can make a lot of dukes. Alright, might as well munch those back. No point in collecting them now. But that medicine up to 10. Uh, we will hold on to that leather. Get rid of those goddamn sandwiches. All that crap in there. Ah, I'll put the padlock in there. We don't need to be carrying it around on our character. Alright, so another big change is these tires here. So as you know, we can whack them. We get a chance to collect the tire. In the newer version, you will still find tires scattered all throughout the world. But when you destroy them, you only get one thing, and that is scrap polymer. Now, the scrap poly is scrap plastics, and you need 100 plastics to create one dew collector, along with a few other items. So plastics, one of those things that you constantly want to be on the look for. Yeah, I was about to say, have we been in here? I feel like we have. Anything respawned? Oh, yes. So, we're going to try our luck. It's a mega crush. You know what? For old time's sake, we're going to smash back a beer. A nice buzz. 
Oh, almost got me. Wizzy bastard. Hopefully I don't need to uh, adjust my audio either. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I recorded. So yeah, hopefully these zombies aren't too loud. I can hear a zombie. Funny feeling that they're up there on the roof. So we should be all good to go. This fella don't even think he knows what he's up to. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. See him up on the roof. That's where all that noise is coming from. But yeah, the change of getting rid of war blocks is such a big one because it's so tedious to go around. Oh, come here, piggy. To go around your world and destroy all of the war blocks. Now, it also has its benefits because, as I've mentioned. You can use the animal fat and cook that into tallow and sell it. You can use the bones with murky water to create glue. And you can make a lot of dukes. But yeah, I'm not too sure if you guys want me to continue pointing out things that will change in the game. I did say to everybody, let me know in the comments down below how hyped are you for Alpha 22 and... Not very many people mentioned anything about that version of the game. Which also brings me on to the next thing. I did say that when that version releases, that I will not be releasing any more console content. Now, I've had a good think about this, and I'd like to retract that statement. Even if we start making content on the newer version, I think I will continue to bring out console content just for the people that aren't actually going to the newer version and would still like to see certain things. It definitely won't be as many videos. It could be one video a month, some form of guide or tips or tricks, something covering mechanics in the game. But I've uh, watched over Big Mo. Uh, calling him Neo. <laughs> now, as I was saying, I've uh, watched over a few of my videos and I did mention at some point in the past that I would not turn my back on the console community and I am a man of my word. So, if you do not have a next gen console and you will not be moving on to the newer version, then I will still provide you guys with some content. Like I said, it may not be the most, but do what I can. Uh, I hold, on, hold on to that animal hide. Raw meats. Uh, it's going to attract everything within a... God knows, I don't even know what the radius is for meat, but that's all good. Now, as I mentioned, with the title of this video, it covered a few different things. Things to expect in Alpha 22, but also things to expect with this channel. Now, I mentioned, what have we got? 56. Terrible. Um, just going to check one thing real quick. Oh, look at that. We do have quality Joe level 3. Now, I mentioned in the last video that when Ark Survival Ascended is released, I will be making content on that. Now, the day that I released that video was actually the day that they released the release date. So it turns out that Ark Survival Ascended, or ASA, will be released at the end of this month. So, if there are any Ark fans out there that is something for you to look forward to, I will be diving for that goddamn engine straight out of the car. But I will be making content on that game. I'll probably jump straight into it with a Let's Play. I will be setting up on official servers as well, staking my claim, getting a good base down. We'll be doing tips and tricks. Um, I have a lot of experience in the original version of Ark, Ark Survival Evolved. So it'll be cool to point out some of the differences and yeah, see how that goes. See some more food right there. Oof, it's got to hurt. <laughs> All 
All right, so day 66, I actually thought it was day... I actually thought it was day 97 in the world. I thought the next video was going to be Horde Night. But I think that's what we might aim for either way. Yeah, like that, we're pulling everyone in. Oh, grab that. Why was I deal with some more of these zombies? Yeah, beautiful. There's another level. Yeah, that's something else that I'd like to do is work on our zombie kills. 2,600. Oh, settle down, big fella. Alright, we good. Still sensed. <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and clean this. Clean up this mess. Well, maybe this will give us an indication. We have meat. She doesn't sense us. Neither does he. So let's test this out and see what the smell range actually is. About there. Now, the fact that we were crouched down could have played a part in that too. But I'm not too sure. Alright, come on, big fella. Alright, can we get a hunting knife kill? Not a big fan on the range of the bladed weapons in this game. The machete is the same. The uh, range is a lot smaller than it is with the club. Another thing that I will have to uh, give more of a chance at some point is the iron sledgehammer. Now, as you all know, I have used it before. Didn't give it the uh, best chance. Not a big fan of it. But that could be something we could try out again as well. There are goddamn zombies everywhere. Oh, what was that? Quality 600 brown shirt. We ain't going to use it, but we'll take it. Alright, so did we search all of these cars? We did. I believe... Where is it? Back here. Might take you to the roof. There might be a crate. Here we go. Broken stuff. Iron shovel. Um, scrape the pipes. Drop the stone. Take that. Alright, as, as you can probably tell, not as organised as I usually would be, but that's alright. We're just getting back into the swing of things. Now, for this world, we still need to make a base in the snow biome. We had talked about doing up the military barracks, because in this Let's Play, I haven't done up any POIs before. Everything's been from the ground up. Once we've done that, the other base we wanted to build was Castle Rock in the Plains biome, and obviously after that, the Hub City base, which will be our ultimate main base, and then the Colosseum won't be too far away from there. Another game that I forgot to talk about in the last video is a game called The Long Dark. Now, a few people mentioned that game to me, and yeah, I completely forgot that is definitely on my list for content in the future. I have played quite a lot of it. I've survived over 100 days on Voyager, which is pretty much the normal difficulty. And my current run at the moment is a Stalker run, and I've just made it to day 100 in that as well. Alright, so we chucked down, we chucked down some storage. Um, might as well just uh, chuck the food straight in there so we need bellows we're looking to make two bellows so <laughs> we need pipes and i just went and scrapped the pipes didn't i we do have the kill chamber is completely upgraded to steel we do still need to do a hell of a lot of mining to get some more iron get some more steel 
finish off a few bits i wanted to do the trim around here link up the tunnels uh once the tunnels are linked up we can get down there and it should be pretty easy to start grinding out that iron and yeah as you guys can see we got the wood prepared all right god damn no pipes either gonna swap that wrench out there make our way down here and we're gonna go find some toilets or sinks to wrench because that would be a great way to find yourself some pipes I believe we should have a toilet right here. There you go, a couple of pipes there. And a couple of pipes there. Go ahead and do the same in the kitchen. Beautiful. Craft up two of those. Get out the forge. What do we need? Stone and clay. So clay is another thing that's something I could do on the next episode, just in preparation, waiting for the horde. We can go pretty much dig up a stupid amount of clay to start crafting cobblestone. So I'm telling you now, Castle Rock is going to need a lot of it. I can tell by that green spot there is that clay. I feel like it might be. We're going to go check it out. Oh, look at that, we got two duffel bags just chilling in the middle of the desert. Can we get that elusive machete from one of them? Wooden club, not quite what I was looking for. And a flashlight, alright. Alright, so we do have clay here. The question is, do I want to be digging giant holes so close to the base? I don't think I do. Did a chicken just run into that cactus? <laughs> he sure did. Alright, there's some dinner. So we've got clay up there. I swear I've seen another clay patch around here somewhere. Do I even have a shovel on me? Sure do. Now whether I need them or not, I tend to carry... Well, I tend to try carry all of the tools on my character. Just in case... You run into a situation where you do need to use them. Oh, yeah, you gotta be faster than that, lady. Oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> Just like that. All right, we actually. I spot bacon. I need to keep our eye out for some bird nests because we don't have any eggs and we have no bacon and eggs. And it wouldn't be an episode if we didn't finish off with some bacon and eggs. Feathers. Goddamn zombies everywhere. I'm going to start digging. We'll let her make her way over. And right in the hole. Easy as that, eh? I was going to say, I swear I heard another zombie. Tell you what, I think we have enough clay for the forges. I think we're just going to keep moving. Recipes, beautiful two forges on the go. So there we got some uh, beautiful terrain generation going on here. Hate for that thing to fall on you. Another big thing that's actually been changed in the game is uh, there is no longer dirt. All soil is clay. So it's a lot easier to get clay because you don't have to look for it. Just any of the forest biome ground will contain clay. As I mentioned in the last video too, there are a few bigger videos that I'm working on. The biggest one is the 150 tips and tricks. Now, the, the first video that I made of that took me a ridiculous amount of time to record, write the script, edit, and all of that fun stuff. 
this one's gonna be twice as hard so bear, just bear with me with that one guys it is in the works and it is gonna get done it's something that i chip away at every time i've got some time up my sleeve the day after this episode's posted i will be posting the next episode of on the run and then there may not there may be a couple of days where i don't post and like i said i do have a lot of other things going on but when i do have time i will be working on them so there might be a couple days without an upload but as i mentioned guys just know that in the background i will be chipping away at these things there you go. might even swap those first aid kits out for the bandages normally bandages are all i need but like i said it's been that long since i've been in this world we're probably going to need the first aid kits but yeah it's been a few months since i've uh played the newer version of seven days to die so i am a bit rusty with that one as well so if you guys do want me to give tips and tricks regarding that game differences and changes that are coming then do let me know in the comments so i know to carry on with that and i might have to jump on it and just refresh my memory a little bit all right let's get some breakfast cooking up beautiful and we'll slam that in there all right got some gore blocks down here we will get rid of those because uh if zombies were to fall on top of one of those gore blocks, they actually end up taking no full damage. So it's another good reason if you've got a pitfall like this, you want to keep it clean. Get these forges down. Beautiful. So yeah, after the next horde night, we will be firing up all of these forges and we'll see what sort of carnage we can summon to the desert temple. I do need more storage down here. Oh yeah, that one will do. Yeah, that running around with the bone. Oh look at that, you can fight with the bone. Never done that before. <laughs> you guys know what that means. We need to go find a zombie and smack them up with the bone. How much damage will it do to a tire? No, oh, not bad, not bad. All right, where is a lucky contender? Right there. Funny, because we were just down here. This is where we fought that uh, massive group of zombies before, so these ones must have gone and spawned in. Oh. 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 All right, turns out you can't even hit a zombie with it. Back it up, lady. Oh, <laughs> and we've lost wellness for that. Oh well, it is what it is. Had to be done. This dude's just a bullet sponge. Now, I wouldn't mind going and seeing the trader at some point too. Just so we can um, see when his stock resets. See what type of stock he has. All of that good stuff. A lot of yucca fruit around here as well. Wouldn't be the worst thing to pick some of it. This, living in the desert, this is what we should actually be primarily drinking. And I'm pretty sure we've got some empty glass jars in here. That you don't even need to cook this stuff. Come over. Oh, not eat. We want recipes. There we go, yucca juice, right there. Craft some of that. Smash that back. And that's going to help keep us cool. As you can see here, cool drink, 3 minutes, temperature decrease by 14%. Now the great thing about the yucca fruit is if you spawn anywhere near a desert, that is a food source on day one. Because not only can you turn it into a drink, but as you just seen before, you can go ahead and eat it. Plus 10 stamina, plus 4 to your fullness. So yucca fruit is definitely a good one. I mean, you could grow a farm of this stuff and you'd be good to go. You'd never have any food issues. Not only that, 
bull cactuses in the desert, whether it's these big ones here or these small ones here, they both give you yucca fruit as well. So these ones, is that one or two? Wait for it to go away. So we got three from that one, three from that one. I believe these ones will give you one. got a small cactus here i'm going to presume that it gives you two there you go two so that's that is definitely a way to keep well fed in the early game and also on the late game now i'm definitely looking forward to the next horde night it's been quite some time since we've done a horde night in this world it's been quite some time since i've done a horde night in general and like I said, let me know in the comments below, will you be staying with the console version or will you be moving to Alpha 22 once it releases? This is something that I would love to know. I think I might put up a poll on my channel just to get quite an accurate, an accurate idea of what everybody's going to be up to. Because yeah, if a large majority of yous aren't moving on to the newer version, then I will definitely do what I can to keep some console content rolling in for you guys. Alright, so we're going to retreat back inside, up the ladder. Beautiful. Now, something else I want to try. As you see these doors, so we come up here. Boom, you see that? In and out. Beautiful. Now, if you're wondering how to do that, when you run up to the door, you just got to double tap triangle as fast as possible. This also works with the trader doors. So if you go visit a trader, say you're in hot pursuit, zombies are chasing you, you don't know what to do, you're panicking, run up to the door, double tap triangle, you're in, the doors are shut. You're good to go. Now I wonder if we're going to end up with a wandering horde tonight. Seems to be the way of the game. I'd be amazed if we don't. Might actually find some empty glass jars. Might have some down here. Beautiful. And get some more yucca juice crafting up. Like I said, living in the desert it's definitely going to be helpful. Alright, so skills. This would be a good time for me to have a look at the skills. We have 60 points available. I think now would be a good time to spend some of those. Secret Stash is one that I would love to uh, purchase. But we do need to do a bit more trading with the trader. Breaking and entering, as I've mentioned before, that one is taboo to me. I do not touch that skill. Why? Because I'm always hit in my base. I said it once and I'll say it again. I think I am the biggest threat to this base in this world. Um... Back to skills. So what else have we got? Rifles. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. That's going to help out with the sniper rifle. Uh, pistols. We're not using pistols at the moment. So we're not going to worry about that one just yet. Uh, the shotgun. Now this one. This, this will be extremely beneficial. I was never a big fan of the shotgun until I tried it out with the slugs. And those things are lethal. They tear through zombies like a hot knife to butter. So, when we do horde knights on foot, that is going to be one of our primary weapons. It will be a shotgun with the slugs and we will have to max out all of those perks. We don't have a shotgun just yet, so we're not going to worry about it right now. I think... Oh, look at that. That puts up your wellness. I didn't actually realise that. Wellness gain plus 0%. Plus 11. So I always knew that this one made your character get less hungry. I didn't realise that you actually gained more wellness from it. Uh, tell you what, we're just going to go all into a 100% wellness gain. How are we looking? 
little bit hungry. We do need to leave some room for our bacon and eggs, but... Alright, so we've moved all the food. Food's around here. We're going to have something quick to eat. We're going to eat some meat stew. And no wellness, alright. <laughs> Who knows, that bacon and eggs might do it in the morning. Tell you what, we might as well start moving a bunch of this wood upstairs into the forges so they are ready to go after horde night. I do apologise if today's episode was a bit lacklustre, but like I said, we're just getting back in the rhythm of things. Got to uh, pretty much try to remember everything that we had been up to in this world, what our plans were. Like I said, the base construction will continue. There's only one base that I am um, a bit half and half on, and that is Castle Rock, because the plans that I had for that base were huge. It was, it's definitely a mega project. Castle made out of cobblestone with a moat or a trench, but the trench or the moat <laughs> will sort of be like a mini pitfall. So that way we could use the reinforced bridge to get over to the base. But you guys have already let me know that you do want to see all of the base building continue. And that's fair enough. I definitely understand that. Goddamn Butterfingers. God damn, 18 forges. A lot of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead pop that. I definitely don't need this much wood in them, but we're going to put it in there anyway. No reason not to. But like I said, I will put up a poll just so we can get a good idea of how many people will be changing over to the newer version. Thought I heard a zombie, so we're going to dip our head outside, see what's going on. And nope, nothing. Silence out here. So you guys, like I said, I apologise if it was a bit of a lacklustre episode. Just uh, trying to get my bearings right so we can get back on the grind. Like I said, I have a lot of plans for future content. A lot of let's plays and a lot of tips and tricks and guides and building tutorials and all of that fun stuff. A video that I was supposed to make a very long time ago was a building tutorial for the Iron Fortress. That is something that I will be working on soon. And I know when it comes to building tutorials, everyone's thinking of one build and it's the one that we're standing on. The Desert Temple. I will have to get a building tutorial together for that. I'll probably have to spend a bit of time in this world, count out the blocks, build it first, and then that way I should be good to do the tutorial. It was quite a while ago that I uh, made this base, and I pretty much winged it when I'd done it. Obviously, it turned out fantastic, but yeah, that is something else that is in the works. So next episode will more than likely be Horde Night, so that gives you guys something to look forward to. But as always, as the sun comes up, that means our time is up. You are not hungry? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. How can we make ourselves hungry? <laughs> it's not the end of the episode if we don't have the breakfast. Maybe if we uh, start swinging our club, get a wee work out here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on. It's quite funny that it's uh, not going down, even as we run around. It makes me wonder if that's directly tied to interaction with blocks. So say if we were mining, that would be going down faster. If we were running around whacking the plant fiber, that would probably bring it down fast as well. Let's do some jumping. Some jumping jacks. Getting prepped, getting pumped, ready for the next horde. Come on, you bastard. Eat your bacon and eggs. Alright. There's only one way. We've committed now. <laughs> we got to do it. 
We're gonna make them hungry. But holy shit, survivors. We got a wandering horde coming in, and as you can see, I've <laughs> glared out all this plant fiber. Bunch of cactuses as well, and our food is still full. I don't know what's going on, but holy shit, that is a big wandering horde. Well, you know what that means. Say this definitely has to make our character hungry. Nope. I mean, we can bring them. Nah, I don't want to bring them into the pitfall. God oh, damn, there's so many of them. Gonna make us hungry. <laughs> Stole food at 100%. All right. and we still see them still coming in this is uh definitely it's got to be up there with one of the biggest hordes we've seen in this world it's crazy them all banded together Come say what's up, natural born. Hungry yet? Still not hungry. Why as thirsty as? Still not hungry. So I don't know what's going on there. Really don't. Gosh. <laughs> I know exactly what's going on. Can't believe I only just left. Because we went and we upgraded. I think it was the survivor it was the skill anyway that makes it so you there we go right there the survivor hunger degrades 50 percent slower now i've gone around collected 550 plant fiber 44 yucca fruit we cleared this whole area we've been jumping we've been fighting zombies and we're still not hungry so you guys invest in that in your world let me tell you firsthand definitely worth it right let's hope this is the end of the uh, second wave because god damn this is just a bit of a uh, training for my on the run episode tomorrow <laughs> Oh, that one's going to be a lot of fun. Zombies in this version, when they run, are terrible. They zigzag all over the place. I will tell you now, in the newer version, whether you like them running or not, if you play on the normal difficulty, they all end up running pretty quickly. So, yeah, they are. Running in that is definitely a lot better. They don't zigzag. Real easy to line them up. Not oh, there. hungry yet still not even goddamn hungry all right there goes the last gore block are we hungry yet of course we're not so it says minus 50 percent <laughs> i think that might be a typo i think that might be like minus 500 percent because god damn and we're still not hungry well i don't know what to do about that <laughs> it's been Almost five hours in game, we just killed what 30 zombies. Like I said, we harvested all of the plant fiber down here. Looks nice though, looks clean, gives you a fair idea of what it's gonna look like. All around here, we've pretty much cleaned up all of the cactus plants too. So I think there's only one thing left to do now. And I think we're just gonna have to end off the episode. So as the sun sits high in the sky, that means 
our time is up i hope you all enjoyed the episode if you're new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe for Tom's old content but as always stay safe out there survivors and i'll see you on the next one